one. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode of Raider Radio. You love it, and you know it. I'm your host, Miles Lonely Michael. I'd love you to join me every single week as I talk about all Hello. things media, whether it be Anybody music, there? movies, video games, TV shows, anything that has to do with media that we consume in our everyday lives. So welcome back this week, guys. How's your week been? I've been pretty damn good this week, I, I will say. I've been playing a lot of this game lately, which is what we're going to play today, is The Evil Within. And uh, this is my third playthrough now, and uh, I really love this game. I'm going to do what I just played of it, actually, and sort of give a little bit, go a little bit deeper into the game uh, and my thoughts on it there. So be on the lookout, guys. And if you haven't yet, check out my latest word I just played. I talked about Far Cry 5, so if you want to know all of my thoughts about Far Cry 5, check out that video. It's pretty good, and I... I couldn't capture Far Cry 5 for it because I played it on a different system, but Please, check that out. So, without further ado, guys, what am I talking about today? We're going to do a movie episode, well, about a movie maker, John Carpenter, the legend, the master of horror. A lot of people call him that, um, and I agree. Wow, where do you even start? So there's a lot of sort of film visionaries, okay, and he's, he's one of them. He's a, I'll give you an example, there's like Steven Spielberg, you know, who's a, a, a visionary for films and he has his own agenda he has it how, exactly how he wants it to be and it sort of all works oh, out no, you know and, and he gets a good fan base just like george lucas or christopher nolan or david fincher john carpenter's done the same thing he has a certain like touch to his movies a certain little bit of magic in his movies that no other director or filmmaker has. And like I said, all movie visionaries are like this, but John Carpenter happen happens to be my personal favorite. So, let's just, that's basically, if you haven't heard of John Carpenter, like, directly, you've seen one of his movies, I can almost guarantee it, and I'll get to that in just a minute. So, that's who he is, he's a film visionary. And uh, let's just talk about some of his movies now, okay? And kind of like why I like them, why I think they're really good. Obviously, one of the most famous horror films of all time. Two, actually. One, Halloween. You may have heard of that movie. Uh, he made that film, I believe it was 1978 or 79. Uh, considered one of the first slashers. An amazing movie. Like, and, it, and here's the thing, what makes it special is I think it still stands the test of time. Like, you can watch that movie today and be just as, maybe not like, terrified, okay? Because it's not really scary by today's standards. But you're still going to be really creeped out and left unsettled and just kind of, kind of have an uncomfortable feeling. And that's basically what that movie's supposed to do, but only John Carpenter can do that. So that's an excellent movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, next up is The Thing. You may have heard of The Thing. It's a very popular horror movie. The Thing is amazing. I, I encourage anybody who's into horror to check out The Thing because... The thing, it's, it's based off a novel, from what I understand. Connelly. And basically, you know, you got all these guys in the Arctic, and something is dug up in the ice, um, kind of where they're staying, and I'll just leave it at there. Watch that movie. It's one of the goriest movies you'll ever see. It has a really likable character, played by uh, Kurt Russell. I love Kurt Russell, big fan of him. And so is John Carpenter. Another honorable mention is uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Now, this isn't a horror film. John Carpenter, he doesn't only do horror. He dabbled around a little bit with drama. He did some comedies. He's done some action. And he has done horror. So he's, he's had his fingers in the pot, relatively speaking, for just about any genre besides, like, romance. Starman is a very popular movie. He did that. That's kind of like a romance sci-fi. So he's done a little bit of everything. And each one of his movies that I've seen, I haven't seen them all, but I've seen probably about half, and I own a lot of them on Blu-ray, like The Thing and Halloween and Halloween 2, another excellent movie, it's a great sequel, and The Thing. Um, another one that's really sort of underrated, uh, of course, he made Jamie Lee Curtis's career with Halloween, so he brought her back in a movie called The Fog that came out about a year after Halloween, and The Fog is really good as well. It's kind of, it's a little bit of a lower budget, but you can tell at that point in his career, John Carpenter was in his comfort zone, his niche. Um... It, it just feels very creepy. It's it's about, you know, this, this fog that overtakes this town, and it's, it sounds a little silly, but these ghost pirates come, because, like, a hundred years ago or so, somebody stole their treasure, and they're pissed off and out for revenge for it, and they kill anybody who gets in their way, and they gotta get their treasure back. Well, it sounds kind of stupid, but when you watch the movie, it'll make a lot more sense, and it's 
an actually a really good movie, and it's pretty creepy. And there's a scene that's so metal when one of the zombies, well, I guess not zombie, but ghost pirate things, gets his head just lobbed off, and it is awesome. Hold up, I'm gonna run. I'm on the, I'm playing on nightmare difficulty, guys, and um, it is not going to be easy. So when intense shit comes up, I gotta, I gotta concentrate. Uh, oh, he took a lot of bullets. This is gonna be hard. Now, I quick note, I, I trophy hunted this game, and I have almost every trophy. Eventually, I'm going to platinum it, but uh, I'm going to take a break, you know, because I, I binged this game for quite a lot. I liked it that much. Back to John Carpenter. Sorry for my little rant there. I tend to do that for those of you who are new. If you're still listening, still tuning in, I do that all the time. It's just uh, something I do. But let's talk about, last but not least, my favorite John Carpenter movie. This is a movie I watch... Around Halloween, like I usually, if I don't watch it, because I, I usually watch the movie Halloween on Halloween. That's sort of a tradition of mine. I do love the Rob Zombie version, by the way. A lot of people don't like that one, but I think it's really good. But uh, my favorite of John Carpenter's is a movie called Vampires, and that's based off a novel as well. Uh, I haven't read the novel. But this movie, uh, so let me just explain real quick. I love vampires. Vampires are like my favorite horror creature, supernatural creature, if you want to call it. So vampires are my thing. I have a vampire tattoo. So this movie portrays vampires, I think, very correctly and very just like in lore and everything. And as far as like creepiness and, and just overall like what vampires would act like, what they would look like. This movie does it justice unlike any other vampire movie I've seen. So not only is it my favorite vampire movie, it's one of my favorite movies, like, horror movies of all time. So basically, James Woods is the main character in that movie, and he is the head of this sort of group of guys that go out and hunt vampires, okay? They're vampire hunters. And the story is really good. I won't go too far into it, because that would take me forever. We'd be here till next Sunday. But it's it's a very good story, and it's just an amazing movie like James Woods does a really good job in his role so does the actor who plays the main villain his name is Valak and there's some pretty metal scenes in this movie like a guy getting punched through his body like straight up through his body it's crazy so definitely check that one out that's my absolute favorite so now let's talk about real quick the future of John Carpenter I'm not sure because John Carpenter since the early 90s has kind of fell off of the filmmaking career I don't know what he's been doing. Honestly, he's made a few movies. Um, he, 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 the latest one he's made um, for a long while since I believe one of the Halloweens. I think he did H2O, but somebody correct me if I'm wrong because there's so many Halloween films. But he's coming out with this new Halloween film, and we'll see. I don't know if he directs it or wrote it, but I knew he has something to do with it. So we'll see how that goes. I am excited for that. I'm going to watch it. Anyway, I love Jamie Lee Curtis. I love the franchise, so I'm down with that. So I know he's doing that. But as for the future, I want more people, either more people to make movies like John Carpenter used to. You know, very watchable, very enjoyable, very full of twists and turns. Uh, again, that, that splash of magic that only John Carpenter has. I want to either see that more, and there are movies out there, like I'll name a few, like It Follows and The Guest. Those movies are very John Carpenter-esque, the way they're made, okay? The, the way they're made to be viewed. So I want to either see more of that or have John Carpenter himself come back and make something new, because I think he could bring a little magic back to what we need or what we're missing from movies these days. So I don't know what the future for John Carpenter is, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are John Carpenter fans. What's your favorite movie of John Carpenter's? And let me know. And as always, guys, hit that like button if you like this uh, video about John Carpenter, one of the best filmmakers. Uh, probably my favorite. Probably my favorite, to be honest. Uh, him, along with like Steven Spielberg and Christopher Nolan, are probably my top three, to be honest. I really like Christopher Nolan's films. Uh, so yeah, definitely hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, guys. I come out with new videos every single week. I'm Miles Only Michael. It's the only place where you can get my antics and all my silly sort of offshoots and rants I go on. And I don't ask for money, man. I do it for free. You know, I don't, I'm not on Patreon, nothing. This is just for you guys, my listeners. And I love you guys for it. I really do. Real quick, let me see if I have enough. Um, I don't think I can do much with that. So, as always, guys, hope you have a great weekend. Keep rocking. And this is Miles Lonely Michael signing off.